Yeah, all Israel has sinned thy law, even by the pardon, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because we have sinned against him. Okay? So you don't know who you are because of his sins. All right? Okay. Hear now this, O foolish people, and without understanding, which have eyes and see not, which have ears and hear not. Remember who you are. Africans in the 1950s. Okay? This is African women in the 1950s. I can't make this up. Okay, people? These are Hebrew women in the 1950s. Do you see the hair? Do you see the difference? Do you see the feature difference? I, I, you guys, I can't make this up. All right. Ham. Okay. And they have broader bums and broader bodies than um, the daughters of Zion. You guys are supposed to know this. God made daughters of Zion perfection of beauty. Okay, and thy renown went forth among the heathen for thy beauty, for it was perfect through my compliments, which I put upon thee, says the Lord God. And because, you know, that's why the Egyptians made makeup, because they thought they weren't as beautiful as Hebrew women. And they made hair extensions because their hair couldn't grow as long as Hebrew women. You got to understand the jealousy of the African race against you and stop intermixing with them. And you women, my Hebrew women, stop sleeping with African men for money. I know. I know about it. Okay? All right. Israel, Negroes. Okay. You see the hair? You see the fi fi features? All right. Israelites are of a tan complexion. Some are darker complexion, but they can't get as dark as Ham. Understand that. Unless they intermixed with Ham. Children of Israel confused. They are Africans. Isaiah, hear, O heavens, and give air, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. Yup. This is the daughter of Zion. Take a good look, okay? Yeah, these are the daughters of Zion. Look at her hair, look at her face, even though I don't like all that makeup. But yeah, um, Ham, this is the daughter of Ham. These are the daughters of Shem, Israel, okay? This is dark skin, but can't get as dark as Ham, okay? Ham's children on the top, Shem's children on the bottom. Two different lineages of people. Ham. This is the end of my slideshow. And it's not really the end. I want to show you guys something more. Okay, why is it not? I'm quick to exit, sorry. Um, I, there's one more thing I want to discuss with you. And that is their evil infiltration of pushing Pan-Africanism on, on us. And that Pan is an evil spirit. It's a demonic spirit. And also, it is an idol, okay? That Pan was an evil incarnate, yet by approximately 300 CE, the demonization of Pan had begun. And it continued until the Western world largely associated the images of Pan with the devil. So let me tell you something, you Pan-Africanists, you devil worshippers, you Satan's agents, you workers of darkness, you pan-spreading, wicked antichrist. You have the spirit of antichrist, okay? All right, let's keep going. Certainly not the antichrist or being who was out of the corrupt and steals man's souls. What does he do? He steals people's souls. He works for Satan. So all you people up preaching pan-Africanism, you are covered in the spirit of pan, pan okay 